Hello everyone, the guys have fed and it's time for another edition of Try Hard Racing with me, Roll Cage TV, where I do the best to get what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but a whole lot of, oh, poor kitty, my kitty cat wants to play, Oh, usually about this time, he wants to take his uh, old man nap with me, but, uh, Oh, he sees me looking at him. Oh, poor kitty. I'm sorry, Jonah. I can't play with you right now. I'm streaming. I'm doing my streaming thing. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Nobody cares about my streaming. There you go. All right. Let's get this finished up here. Just about done with season uh, seven. Season seven. Season eight. Just about done with season eight. And uh, what do we have? Just a single section? That won't take long. Oh, now he's up here. He's gonna come up here on my shoulder, isn't he? Yeah, poor kitty. Beautiful boy. Beautiful Tuna. Black cat, he's gonna be turning 14 this month. And so, he's still pretty active. He still wants to play. He's still dashes every so often. Tries to get me to chase him. Um, no, I don't need any practice. Practice is not going to help my situation. Oh, you might hear him. I mentioned this because you might hear him in the background caterwauling. I'm going to mention the cat. I, don't, I, don't, I mentioned the practice isn't going to help because... There's no reason to mention that. Anyone who's watched any of my uh, Detail on Man videos knows. Thinks they're hopeless. Um, okay, let's look here. Make sure everybody gets a little Let's start. Oh, Tuna. Nobody else wants to play with him either. That's sad. My roommates hide when I'm streaming. <laughs> understandably understandably so ah. little, just a little dribble of my Pepsi on the side of my glass there we go, straighten that out has everybody left the pit area yet get out of here it is a Saturday afternoon that's when I stream if you're not watching this live most people don't Saturdays at still more people still more per Boleros. come on guys Saturdays 1230 p.m. US time this uh gonna be wrapping up season eight here gonna do two more seasons and uh, they're gonna go by pretty quickly so I'm um, going to be uh, starting another game soon. I, I'm i not sure which one yet. I could put a poll on uh, my uh, YouTube uh, community page. I was thinking about that. The problem with that is uh, I might... I haven't checked either one out to make sure uh, either of them are viable for um, streaming material. Playthrough material. I uh, do not want to make the same mistake I made with this game and find out too late that uh, um, the AI is too too strong for me, even on the easiest setting. <laughs> um, this game is a lot of fun, but uh, it doesn't make for really good playthrough uh, content for me. Because uh, it's really difficult. The uh, AI is uh, pretty brutal. And I have the AI turned all the way down. And I'm used to, uh, you know, not winning against the AI in uh, video games. But uh, 
Uh, when I have, when I turn the AI down all the way and still can't finish any place but last, that's what I know. That uh, it's not an appropriate game for me. I played GTA Alaman 2. Um, during my mid spring marathon which uh, every three months in case you don't know I do a big 12 hour marathon on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash youtube under bar tv and uh, this past uh, past big stream I um which, by the way, let's see, not May, June, July, August. August. The next one's coming up first Saturday of August. I played TTL Man 2, and it was great, and uh, I didn't finish last in any of the races. <laughs> so, yeah, the, if you, um, I, I say this pretty much every, every stream, if you, if you played TTL Man 2, um, there's a little bit of a shock to the system when you play this game. The uh, bikes handle really well. Everything, everything is uh, good there. But if you're planning on playing a career, I think you'll you may be disappointed. I have mentioned that some of the people that I've watch play um, that I normally have followed and have done careers uh, one guy in particular KPG Gooner has done careers of TT Alaman 1 and TT Alaman 2 and uh, he didn't do a playthrough of this game and he's, he does like every motorcycle game that comes out every plays through ride, he plays through, you know, whatever. I haven't looked to see if he does has a playthrough of rims. I wasn't even thinking about that at the time. So, rims is one of the games I'm considering, but it's uh, made by the same people. I don't know if it's uh, actually the same development people, or if it's just the same producer, same publisher, I don't know, same developer, I don't know. So, uh, I'm already in last, oh look, I got a nice, nice silver thing. So I have to see what the career mode is like, I have a feeling the career mode is better than this, though. The career mode for this is pretty lame, uh, to be honest. Look at that, almost level 121. But if you just play the game because you want to tool around, you just you just want to see how fast you can do laps, uh, it's a good game for that. Uh, it's a little frustrating, but uh, it's a good game for that. But it's nothing like... Uh, it can be frustrating. you got to learn to really... Take your time and you know, but don't expect to take your time and beat the AI. Um, just a single section, all right, let's do it. And then it's gonna be the big qualifier, which I will inevitably fail at. I need to do it in 19 minutes, and even the AI at my level can't beat it, they have to. They have to cheat their times in the last lap. Every week I say to myself, okay, I'm just going to play the game this week and I'm not going to complain about it. <laughs> every day, every week, I find some reason to complain about it. If I had it to do over again, I would not do a career mode of this. I'd still buy it. I'd still play it on occasion, but 
anymore I don't play a lot of games that I don't uh, don't stream so I would probably frankly not play it that often no I uh, looked down in my chat I, I, something flashed by on my chat I don't know I had a chat which distracted me, but I, it was just my bot. I forgot to check my bots. But usually when I first... Oh. Usually when I first... Um, usually when I first start the stream, while I'm still in my uh, starting Zoom screen, I will... Um, run a script for each bot, a command on each bot, make sure the bot's responding. And uh, so my chat will be full of that, and this time I forgot to do it. So a chat flew by and it reminded me. I can't read the chats when I am streaming, not just because they distract me. Oh, I haven't had a feeling of that. funny thing about this game, even people that have, I've had a couple people, two people, exactly two, um, who I've chatted while I was streaming this game, chatted with, and they, they said, oh, they're, they've done really good, and they, you know, they've got the highest score on this platform or whatever, and, or one of the, you know, I'm like number 10 on the leaderboard for this particular thing or whatever, this particular section of this particular thing. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. And, you know, they've posted a video on YouTube where they, they have a stream VOD that I'll check out. And um, both of them, the one guy in particular, the other guy didn't have a lot of stuff out there, but one guy streams, like, quite a bit. He doesn't comment when he streams or anything like that, but he's, he's streamed quite a bit of his stuff. And uh, he's falling off all the time. And now I understand if you're really trying to go for, you know, perfection on your lap, but um, to be, I mean, to be frank, if I'm, I, I, I believe that he's had really high scores, but if you watch him, it looks like he's terrible. <laughs> and it's not, and I know from experience that it's not him, that the game is just that difficult. And he's just doing time trials. He's not even playing against the AI. He's not racing anyone. He's just trying to see how fast he can get across the line. And uh, people have said, oh, how can you, you know, you're brave to play this game in first person mode or whatever. I can't play in Chase Cam. It's too disorienting to me. At least in the motorcycle games, it's better because, um, um, Almost 120. Oh, I did make 121. Motorcycle games is a little better because they don't turn the bike sideways when you turn if you're in chase cam mode. Which uh, it totally makes no sense to me why we do that in uh, cars. It's exactly pointing you in the wrong direction. You're turning left, they, sh they want to show the drift, right? So they're showing the left side of your car. But that means you're looking right relative to the car. And if you're making a left-hand turn, you want to look left relative to the car. But anyway. Anyway. All right. We have enough time for the official qualifier. So let's do it. Finish out the season. Unless somehow I qualify. Which is very unlikely. I need 19 minutes. Oh, you might hear me eating pretzels. Sorry about that. Mmm. Saturday and Sunday streams. This is my lunch. Oh, good, and the graphics are gonna go a little weird. That's the only thing about this game. There's weird bugs. I've had the sun, the uh, stream cut out. I uh, will probably after this restart the game, but uh, 
I'm gonna do that in between streams or in the middle of a stream I mess up some stuff um oh, I have to say start and free practice skip at least it's not the audio problems that happen a lot uh oh what was that sound Sometimes the game sounds just go away. If you, which is why I don't play a. I um, see. I can't even see them going. They always show. There's no way to zoom in. I mean, that's not a big deal. The first few seasons I played a, a custom game to represent the final event, which you have either four or six laps. Depending on what class you're in. But then the game sounds would cut out halfway through, and so I couldn't stop. I had to play with the game sounds out. Because you can't stop the, the race in the middle of a can't stop the game in the middle of a race, it doesn't remember where you were. And uh so that that it's it's questionable how engaging the content is. Uh <laughs> <laughs> without the game sounds, with the game sounds, without the game sounds, definitely not worth doing. And to be honest, I want to finish up my 10 seasons and move on to something else at this point. All right, looks like I have clearance. Let's go do it. It is fun driving around this. Uh, Driving around this course, it's fun driving around the open world, which is this is that, which is this map. PT Allen Man 2 features a different world for the open map, which uh, I find a little bit more engaging. There's there's activities and stuff to do, that's, but it's not the actual course. Or it's not the actual island. It's. Uh, I, I, it's, I don't think it's a real location. and It's supposed to be some location in Northern Ireland, I think. Um, the idea of my the career, the reason I'm doing 10 seasons is I'm doing five seasons with the Super Sport and then five seasons with the Super Bike. Each season features a different upgrade level, so I'm Right now at upgrade level three on the super uh, super bikes, which makes it season eight. I've got everything that turned down and difficulty that I can. Um, all my electronics are turned up, as you can see on the right. It goes up to three levels. Um, there's three different handling models. This is the, quote, beginner handling model, which I'm, I present always. I'm not a beginner. I'm just not good. <laughs> I'm, I'm an overtired guy. I'm not a beginner at any video game. Um, but then they have intermediate and uh, simulation or whatever the top one is called and uh, I'm told that uh, 
you know, oh, it's, it's a great, uh, the simulation is like one of the best simulation handling motorcycle racing game engine something something. Uh, all it means to me is I, you know, it makes it more difficult to stay on, which makes it more difficult to compete. Which I'm playing a career. I'm trying to I'm trying to compete against the career competition, and uh, that's like impossible. Even on this level, it's a puzzle. I should ask. Shout out to uh, LCK Racing, who uh, I watch a lot on Twitch. Chat with on Twitch. He's he plays this game. He was he was the first base person I saw playing this. I watched him play TTL Man 2 a lot. And, uh, so when he played this game, I watched him. I would like to see him. I would like to really get his opinion. He loves the game, but he says he doesn't play the career. I, I would like to see if I can talk him into playing the career mode. Um, just to see how he does. You know, see, see uh, is it as frust would it be as frustrating for him as it is as I find it or, uh, or not? Would he, can he compete at, you know, even at the beginner level, the lowest AI and I, he, I don't know what physics model he uses. Probably does not use the beginner model. I, I probably wouldn't use it either if I didn't have to. I have any hope. But I have not hope anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But getting the races over with quicker is... <laughs> beginner to AI gives me a little bit more... Or beginner uh, physics model gives me a little bit more forgiveness to get the races over with a little faster. I can drive a little fast without falling off, or I can recover with myself a little bit better. Even though this is just like embarrassing always even on the beginner level like I said if I allowed myself to just go slower but the idea is to go as fast as you can get as fast a time as possible if you go quick on the sections where you don't fall off there's no penalty for falling off other than the time you have to wait to watch the driver spin through the air and then get back on If, if uh, you can make up that time in other areas by pushing it a little bit, um, you know, if, if if the drive without falling off means you have to slow down so much like this that you might as well fall off, then uh, you know, we'll get better times. How will you get better times by pushing it to the point where you will fall off a couple of times a race, or by? Uh, playing it very safe. Make sure you don't fall off. Anyway. You know, I can ask um, LCK at least what his fastest time is. He probably knows what his personal best is. Even though there's no way to look it up. That's another thing about this game compared to other games. Uh, I don't... I don't know, maybe you can look up your personal best. I don't think it I don't think you can. I I would have to investigate that more. I know that in the season, if you're playing a season, you can't see what your times were previously. But yeah, maybe I'll send LCK a message on Discord, ask him, hey, what's your um I know you only like do laps. What's your best time? What's your best lap time on, the, on, the, on this course? Let's see if is it under 19 minutes or not? <laughs> I I would not be surprised. If, I love the game. It's you know I think it's a great my favorite motorcycle racing game. It's the best version of the game. You know I love how it handles. I love how it drives. You know I love the uh, the. Uh, scenery and all that stuff, but, uh, what's, well, what's your best time? Oh, 21 minutes. <laughs> Not enough to qualify. I know people have done it. I mean, I've watched people do, do, uh, you know, the laps in 14 minutes or 15 minutes or 13 minutes or something like that. I think it's the highest I've seen. So I know it's possible, but. 
If a speedrunner, you know, a real top level, top flight player, I wonder if I can actually look up uh, on the Xbox, which is what I'm playing on. Um, can I look up the leaderboard for the full race? Although, I, then you have to. I don't know how if the leaderboard is like hacked or anything. I don't have to look. Maybe less likely on the console than on PC, but the leaderboards are not combined. None of the times are combined. I mean, I know I'm not up there with the elite because I do do some of those events, and uh, you know I'm near the end of the path. But, uh, because it's not a combined leaderboard, if I do a weekly event or whatever it is, 14-day Fortnite event, um, do, do I, um, in case you don't know what Fortnite is, 14 days, that's where the name comes from, not the video game. Uh, and, and it's not spelled N I T E. Um, so those uh, those uh, bi-weekly special events, I do those, and the times I get are um, not at the very bottom, but you know, three quarters of the way down or something like that. So I know I'm not great at the game, but to not even be able to qualify for the final race ever even with the lowest AI level. And that's that's my biggest complaint about the game. Well, my biggest complaint about the game is it's it's too difficult. They, there's no reason to make it that difficult. Um, even against the lowest level AI, you can just make the lowest level AI a lot easier. In the fact, they could do it now. They have um, the lowest level AI is quote unquote 30%. They, they could go down to 0%, but I don't know how they calculate the percent. Maybe it actually is a 30% AI drives at 30% the speed of the highest level AI. A game like, um, um, you can go all the way down to zero on like third round two, which is my favorite driving. I don't know anything about the new EA sport WRC game but uh, Dirt Rally 2 Dirt Rally 1 and then Dirt Rally 2 really hits the spot as far as continuously living content because they have daily events I played that game every day for for a long I wouldn't say a whole year but for months I played the game every day and I would do uh all the daily events every day, obviously they have daily, weekly, and monthly events. I would do every daily event. Um, and then I would do on the weekends, I would do, um, well, uh, every day I would play, uh, on the weekdays I would do all the daily events in one weekly event. And then on the weekends I would do, there's five weekly events. And then on the weekends I would do on Saturday, the first, you know, two monthly events, and then, or one section, of, the first two sections of one monthly event, to, you know, the last two sections, whatever, so that it turns out that I would get, in the month, I would get all the months in, there's like three monthly events, hold on a second. That's another thing about the game that freaks out. <laughs> the audio. It's like something with the microphone, I guess. Because I don't hear it until I hear it on the playback, which is why it crackles like that for over 20 seconds until I can hear it on the playback. But uh, I'm told it's not that it is common in this game, it's not just the microphone's bad. I've tried different microphones and things, and different controllers, and whatever, and it's, it, it happens only in this game, not any other game. 
and people that I, I mentioned other people who play the game that acknowledge that yeah it's it's uh, this game and somebody tried to give me a workaround but um, the workaround didn't really work. He said, "Well, if you you play uh, if you don't play on the controller on the batteries, if you play with the controller plugged in, then it doesn't do it. But it still does it. I don't know. It, I've tested both; doesn't seem to make a difference." So yeah, I was saying Dirt Rally too. I played, you know, there's there's like four monthly events and four weekly events and like six daily events a day or you know something like that. Uh, you know, so six daily events a day. I think it's like six daily events every day and then five weekly events every week and then four monthly events every month. I mean, that's a huge amount of content, whereas this game, you, I think there's like four or five maybe uh, bi-weekly events. So, which is still nice. A lot of games don't have that kind of uh, extra content where you can compete on a leaderboard. Um, not just by saying, oh, I want to try, I want to do this particular course, or this particular section, or whatever, and then see, how do you compare on the leaderboards to everyone else? No, that's, you know, the leaderboards are, are for an entire career. I want to, I just want to see, during this week, how did other people do? How, how, how did I do against the field on this particular week? And it's not even how you do, it's, uh, well, I played through the whole career, now what? I either have to learn, no, get to know people that have clubs, which there are clubs in Dirt Rally too, which is another great thing. You can get to clubs, um, which I, you know, I'm, I'm a member of several clubs. I set up my own club. Um, but also, if you know you're just looking for something to do, you can play the game for hours every day by doing the daily events. And uh, this, you know, you got like five events every. And this is still, like I said, better than most games. You got five events every two weeks or something like that. And it's just deciding what am I going to do rather than, you know, well, I don't know. Do I play this course? Do I play that course? You know, what a, what what vehicle do I use in Dirt Rally? You know, there's multiple vehicles. So, yeah. That's, that's why Dirt Rally is my favorite game. But in that game, I would finish, like, in the middle of the pack. Uh... So I can handle that game. And it's considered a difficult game by, by the masses. Uh, a lot of, you know, real rally drivers play Dirt Rally 2, have videos and stuff on. Now uh, they're probably playing the new one. I really am not plugged into how people have... Um, other than some of the barrel rollers people, shout out to the barrel rollers, by the way. Um, and I haven't really been talking to them much how the, the realism factor is between the new new Codemasters uh, Dirt Rally game and um, their Dirt Rally series. But yeah, so, you know, a lot of it's just me. I can't, I can't compete as well on this game as on, uh, um, as, as on the rally racing in cars. You know, motorcycles are more difficult. I don't have the reaction time that I once had being old man. Um... Ah! <clears throat> Don't have the fine motor control like that. I'll oversteer a lot more. Because there's a delay. In case you don't know motorcycle racing, there's a delay. You don't steer the bike by moving the controller. You steer the bike by... You move the controller and then you drop your racer. I mean, if you know anything about riding a bike, at speed, you steer mostly by 
leaning, not by turning the handlebars. And uh, so, uh, there's some reaction time. You, you go to lean, and uh, you know you can't. It's it's harder to in real time wiggle the stick back and forth a little bit to control your lean. You have to be much more precise on uh, how far you've leaned. So, and you have to anticipate a little bit better. And, yeah, the view, this view is much harder to see the, the road. And so that's why, another reason why the, the view is not, this view is not the most competitive way. Whereas I play on a comparable view in, the vehicle, in cars, which is hood view. And that's the, the best view. It's not the most realistic view. You know, a lot of people play nothing but cockpit view, but... Uh, that's the most competitive view. You know, if you look, look at the esports people that are doing auto racing, they're using cockpit view, or uh, not cockpit view, they're using a, a hood view, bonnet view. Which is interesting in TT Alaman 2, if you look at the camera, it's called, it's called uh, hood view, whereas they don't I don't think they name what the different views are on TTL Man 3, but to call this camera hood view is obviously there's no hood. And I think it is called hood view, <coughs> too, not like, you know, bonnet cam, which is what it would be. In this game, you just, you know, you toggle through the different views. I don't think you can set it as a setting. It's just, it, it defaults to the last one you use, so I don't think you can go in the, I don't think there's a camera setting, you can go in the settings and say, you know, camera, default camera is this, that, or the other, it just defaults to the last one you use. This is actually one of my better times. My best time uh, total is uh, right around 23 minutes. I, I'd say that is my personal best. I don't know. Can I look it up on a leaderboard somewhere? I think it only shows you your best times in a free play race. I don't think it shows you your, your personal best time on the track in a qualifier or anything. But I have, my point is I have played this in third person view, um, trying to qualify, and it made no difference. I still, it, I did not even match my personal best playing it. And I thought, well, I'll play in third person view. I'll do the second lap in third person view. Maybe I'll have a chance of qualifying. And uh, that, may, that made no difference. And because you start with the uh, autopilot start, um, you're already up to speed when you hit the start line. So there's no like outlap it, or outlap penalty. Hot, you know you have to go to your second lap to get a good time because that's your hot lap. You know, like that. I'm. Uh, I'm speaking <clears throat> as if my audience is people that have not played the game. Um, which I think is appropriate because people that have played the game aren't going to put up with watching me play this game. <laughs> So, like I was saying, the steering, I don't know, I, I was thinking if I didn't say, the counter steering is not, the first turn often is not the issue, it's the counter steering. I'm like, right there, I'll make that first sharp right, but then uh, it's the left that follows the right that usually uh, does, does its deal to me. Oh, my goodness, that is my best time ever, 22.35. 
Right well, around 22 and a half. I thought I was having a good, uh, good lap. But nowhere near the 19 I need, so I'm not going to sit here for an hour trying to get the 19. It's not going to happen. So let's uh, end the session. Yes, I didn't place. I know the, the nice lady is going to tell me, oh, unfortunately you failed. Maybe you'll get it next time. No, I didn't get it next time. I should have shown that their times were nowhere near qualifying times but then suddenly you hit the button and oh yeah they have uh like everyone qualifies under eight under uh look at that everyone is qualified even at the 30 percent ai so the one thing that i would definitely change even though i would still never qualify um it does not make sense that they would have the qualifier time not adjusted based on the AI. The difficulty level only appropriate for the AI. And Ride does that same thing. I'm assuming the rims will do the same thing. Anyway. But. I am uh, not going to do anything else, I don't think. This, uh, this episode. I think I'm going to take a break here. Restart the game. Try to fix those graphics. Get rid of the black uh, black bars, as you can see, like I'm with you button there. So I'll have to restart the game to do that. So if you're watching on Twitch, stick around. I won't be able to restart the game. I won't have to close the stream down, but I won't have to pause it and go through a bunch of other stuff. So there probably will be a bit of a delay when I get that reset up. If you're watching on YouTube, though... Um, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode will be the next weekend day at 6 p.m. U.S. Central Time. So Twitch, stick around on YouTube next episode. Either way, I will see you then.